Was there a problem not with the first stimulus package, but perhaps with the shape and the delivery of well, the second one? Um, a lot of people say that in hindsight. Um, but, you know, when you're, when you're putting money out the door, so to speak, and I know this is difficult for people to understand. It sounds counterintuitive. But actually, if it's a fiscal stimulus, the most important thing is to get the money out the door. Uh, how the money is, uh, whether, whether the money is in some sense wasted because there's overcharging or whatever, of course that's an important point. But from a macroeconomic perspective, it's very much second order, maybe even third order. It was part of the problem, though, that I know this, the slogan for the second one was timely, targeted, temporary, but we're just seeing the ends of that washing through the system now. It hardly seems... This, is a, this is a problem with um, packages that involve infrastructure construction. You know, we, we had this experience in the early 1990s recession. You can't spend all the money in one month, in six months, in 12 months. You simply can't do it. And so there will be a tail on the fiscal stimulus. And people will uh, wonder if... Uh, that tail um, really should be there, you know, whether it should have been withdrawn earlier. Uh, but the tail is unavoidable. And so when you're taking the decisions um, that you're going to have a fiscal policy response of that form, one which involves an infrastructure build, you need to be aware that the tail is going to be there. That's Do you important. worry that government spending has in some way become infected because of problems with those with those programs, particularly when I'm thinking of the pink, pink back bats program? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't see any evidence of that. Um, I think uh, a bigger issue, actually, um, which goes to the point, is whether concerns about public debt might be uh, infecting in some way government decision. Government, and not just Commonwealth government, but state governments as well, about infrastructure provision. I think that's a serious issue for the medium to longer term. Not so much for the short term because the fact is that uh, the economy um, in Australia is, uh, is, is pretty close to a full capacity economy right now, notwithstanding that there are some sectors of the economy that are obviously experiencing very slow growth, indeed some that are experiencing negative growth, but overall the economy is fairly close to full capacity. But the infrastructure issues are there for the medium term, for the long term. I mean, for example, for example, uh, we uh, uh, some years ago, many years ago now actually, had a national conversation about the implications of an ageing population, keyed by the um, was stimulated by the first intergenerational report published in 2002. The most recent intergenerational report published two years ago uh, tells us that on reasonably conservative assumptions, um, within 40 years Australia will have a population that is 14 million people larger than today's population. Um, not only that, but almost half of that additional number of Australians will be aged 65 or more. Almost half of the 14 million will be aged 65 or more. Think of the infrastructure requirements to support another 14 million Australians, almost half of whom are aged 65 or more. And it's not as if we'll be creating two or three new cities the size of Sydney or Melbourne for that additional 14 million Australians, or uh, a city twice the size of Melbourne for the um, six or seven million Australians aged 65 plus. Uh, if we were to do that, that would be a huge undertaking. That would be a massive undertaking. Um, and there would be extraordinary infrastructure issues associated with getting services to those people aged 65 plus, aged care facilities, health services, uh, and so on. But the fact is the infrastructure challenge is much more demanding than that because those people will not be in one place. They'll be spread out across the country in places where, at the moment, the infrastructure simply doesn't exist. I do want to come to that in some detail in just a moment. But just to finish on, on the stimulus package, mm. uh, do you fear that the politics of this, for the people that were involved, leaves them with a sense that they get no credit? If people avoid a recession, sure, the population doesn't understand no question the bullet that. that they have dodged. There is no question about that. Um, but um, uh, to their credit... Uh, uh, my uh, 
Well, my um, assessment of it at the time was that the ministers were well aware of that. They knew it. They knew they'd get no credit for it. And do you think that the next time around they might think about that and pause? I hope not. I hope not. Um, I think not. I think not. Uh, the truth is, of course, that had there been a recession, things would have been much worse for them. 